Our motoring tip of the week concerns idle start-stop technology. Now, let's just consider, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time for the fact that my mind thinks in miles per gallon. Uh, let's just imagine you have a 30 mile per gallon vehicle. Well, if your driving cycle includes the things that everybody's driving cycle includes, like stoplights and being stuck in traffic jams, that 30 mile per gallon car can quickly be, become 15 or 20 mile per gallon car because when you're sitting still, obviously, you're getting zero miles per gallon. Now, how do the manufacturers bridge that? Well, in the U.S., for example, the government has mandated U.S. auto manufacturers to achieve 35.5 miles per gallon for the 2016 model year. So in order to achieve that, they have to use electric vehicles, hybrids, and this bridge technology of idle start stop allows a conventional gasoline engine vehicle to achieve much better fuel economy and lower emissions because when it's sitting still or idling, it shuts off. So if you're stuck in traffic, sitting at a light, the engine shuts off and automatically restarts. So the question is, will this continuous starting and stopping of the engine increase our maintenance costs in terms of starter motor wear and tear and battery? Well, the starter motor is gonna be far more heavy duty and robust than conventional starter motors. So likelihood is, no change there. In fact, the durability may actually be better because it's so much more robust. Batteries, however, remember we do replace batteries in our vehicles every few years and that situation won't change and the battery is considerably more expensive. So you will have a higher cost if and when you have to replace the battery. And we know it's when, not if. So you certainly want to bank those fuel savings that you're going to reap every day from the idle start start stop technology because you're going to need it when it comes battery replacement time. Now would I avoid or target this technology? Well I certainly wouldn't avoid it and you might want to target it for that extra fuel economy and lower emissions that it's going to give you every single day that you own that car. That's your motoring tip of the week.